Welcome to this Configured Terminal presentation. My name is David Bombal, CCIE 11023. In this short video, I want to demonstrate how to configure Cisco VPN client connections to a Cisco ASA running the 8.4 operating system by using the VPN config generator. The VPN config generator allows you to set up complicated VPNs quickly and easily and this is an example of one of the VPNs the VPN config generator supports. So let's get started. So we're going to start the VPN config generator and then we're going to select client connections. We are setting up a VPN client connection to an ASA running 8.x. So we're going to select this option. So 8.x, click next. In this example we want to set up an ASA running 8.4 with VPN client connections. Click Next. So the VPN config generator presents various options where you can configure for instance the outside IP address of the ASA. That's displayed in the diagram here. We can also see which networks are going to be encrypted. So the diagram displays networks to encrypt as well as giving you a summary of the information created. So you can see networks to encrypt is split tunneling enabled, what the domain name is, address pool and various other options. So I'm going to change the networks to encrypt. So I'm going to select the VPN client options. I'm happy with the IP addresses allocated but going to split tunneling I want to encrypt for 10.1.1.0. I don't have any other subnets but you could fill in other subnets here if required. As you can see, the diagram has changed with the new information. I'm going to click OK to generate the configuration because I'm happy with the defaults. So here's the configuration that I need to paste onto the ASA. So I'm going to copy the configuration. And all I'd need to do is paste that into the ASA to set up the VPN. Before doing that, I'd like you to see that my VPN client is unable to ping an IP address of 10.1.1.23. So I've set a continuous ping to that IP address, which is a host on the internal network. So we've got our ASA with the device behind it in the subnet 10.1.1.0. And we've got a VPN client, which is going to initiate a VPN to this IP address which is the IP address of the ASA and this is that client. So I've created a connection on my client with the IP address of the ASA, the group name which was configured as part of the VPN config generator. Notice he has the VPN group name and the relevant password which was also configured as part of the VPN config generator. You can see here pre-shared key is Cisco123. So my VPN client has been configured. If we type IP config we'll be able to see its IP address. At the moment you can see it's got an IP address of 11110 which will allow us to connect to the ASA. Now obviously now in the real world this device could be anywhere as long as you've got IP connectivity to your ASA. So typing show run on the ASA you can see that the inside interface of VLAN 1 has an IP address of 10.1.1.1 and the outside interface an IP address of 1.1.1. So I'm going to type conf t and then I'm going to paste the configuration which was generated by the VPN config generator. So there you go, the configuration has been pasted in. I can now go to my VPN client. As you can see the pings are failing. Let's double click on the connection entry to set up a VPN. As you can see now I'm prompted for a username and password. That is the username and password that we configured using the VPN config generator. So going to VPN client options, users, Notice here is my username and password. 
Obviously, you could configure different usernames and passwords using this application. So let's put in the username and password. Click OK. The communications channel is being secured. And as you can see, the pings are now succeeding. If we look at the statistics, you can see that packets are being encrypted and decrypted. We're now connected to the ASA. If we right click, go disconnect. Notice the statistics are grayed out and the pings are starting to fail. If we click connect again, put in our username and password. Notice packets are now being encrypted and decrypted and our pings are succeeding. It's as simple as that to set up an ASA running version 8.4 to accept VPN client connections using the Cisco VPN client. That concludes the short video showing you how to configure Cisco VPN client connections to a Cisco ASA running 8.4. Please see our other videos for more examples of what the VPN config generator can do. The VPN config generator supports many types of VPNs, including any connect or SSL clients to an ASA, ASA to router VPNs, and many others. Thank you for watching.